okay hello guys in this tutorial let's see okay okay let's see all the things about residue classes whenever you hear residue classes you need to remember mod m this is a basic formula which you'll be observing in this problems a x triple equals to let us talk call that as equality equality b mod c I don't know what it is originally called as I'll be calling it as equality for this video okay so where m is an integer mod m where m is an integer okay you'll be not finding that there don't worry be cool okay let r be an integer then residue class under the modulo m is residue class x such that x belongs to z and x triple equals to equality r mod m okay if it is written in terms of a x equality b mod c then initially we will be finding the gcd of a comma c i think everyone is good at gcd okay later on don't worry i'll be explaining gcd even in a basic easiest way gcd where the value of the gcd that is greater common divisor is m if m divide divided by b m divided by b then solution is possible otherwise there is no possibility of any solution i hope everyone got to know the basic idea of this residue class okay my explanation was not so good on this topic so please go through the steps basically it is really easy okay let's go through a problem here it is given 12x equality equality 5 mod 16 so i have told a comma c this is a this is c gcd of a comma c initially you will be writing c here c is equals to a into some multiple plus reminder that's the most important format 16 is equals to 12 12 into 1 plus 4 right you're gonna get 16 that's fine next you'll be writing 12 here 12 4 here 4 into 3 12 so you got 0 here directly so whatever it is above 0 it is the GCD I hope everyone understood what GCD is but 4 does not divide by 5 is 4 divided by 5 no hence there is no solution for this problem Hence, there is no solution for this problem. I hope you got a small basic idea. In the next problem, we'll be having a solution. Don't worry. We're going to explain that even. Be cool. Okay. Here is the next part. Next problem. On the same topic. If 7x. 7x equality to mod 31. I have told you GCD of 7 comma 31 31 7 into 4 plus 3 7 is equals to 3 into 2 plus 1 3 is equals to 1 into 3 plus 0 so 1 is the GCD 1 is divisible by 2 yes that's true so there is a solution possibility now the main concept is to find the values of A and B you may just think that where are A comma B what am I saying you may just think like that cool we'll be having a good clarity on those things don't worry okay now you'll be just writing the question in terms like this one what is the GCD value okay, I'll be writing here GCD value is equals to a into a the value of a into a plus C into value of B okay so write it down and from the above diagram above values you're gonna just sort the values and you're gonna just continuously substituting them and you'll be finding the equations guys this is really really simple don't get confused or don't get tensed up okay be cool okay initially find initially we found the value for GCD of these values 
I have just re rewrote the steps right here. 31 is equals to 7 into 4 plus 3. 7 equals to 3 into 2 plus 1. I will be writing the next step even so that it will be a bit clear. 3 is equals to 1 into 3 plus 0. Here 1 is the GCD. Wherever you got 1 as the GCD. That's the main key step. Where 1 is equals to, you will be writing this outside. 7 minus 3 into 2. Okay. I hope you understood what I wrote there. Okay. So again, further continuing it. 7 minus we, we can get the value of 3 by sending that that side just I'll be transferring that that side 31 minus 7 into 4 into 2 2 is right here okay just further continuing it 7 here there is a 7 so I'll be taking 7 as common I'll be getting this and 31 into 2 it is as usual 7 into 9 from this 1 is equals to 7 into 9 plus plus 31 minus 2 so a is equal to 9, b is equal to minus 2. So inverse of 7 is 9 and inverse of 31 is minus 2. This is what the use of the residue classes. I hope everyone understood what, how we are solving this kind of problems. So this helps you a lot guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this is the last video of this chapter. I'll be taking a review video of the index. Don't worry guys. Be cool. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you guys.